has anything useful to add to our arsenal. I can't think of a better place to We're I've so close. So I know we aren't keeping all the artifacts here anymore, but I think I can get some good readings from your ship. You have no idea how excited I am to analyze the data after you jump to the Unity. I'm gonna make some coffee. Pull an all-nighter. What? No, no, no. I do not do field work. Especially not the restructuring yourself at the molecular level kind. Or whatever the Unity actually does to make you starborn. Anyway, Vladimir and I have been talking, and we're both staying here. Someone has to keep Constellation going with so many people leaving. It'll be pretty quiet at first, but that's what Constellation has been doing forever, right? An old generation moves on, a new one moves in. <laughs> Maybe one day. For now, I think I'm better off letting Vladimir have that headache. Okay, I promised myself I wouldn't cry. <laughs> and I'm sticking to that. So, goodbye. I'll miss you all. Ah, it'll be a shame to pack up all the modifications to the eye for finding the artifacts. But she's earned a break. Gilded our fortunes for sure. Uh, I'm just an old blade in the dark trying to make good. I'll be taking up the chair when everyone's gone in the Unity. Set Constellation's course for another new beginning. Not my first time at the helm for a crew, but going to take it slow. Uh, don't know about that. Intend to keep teaching folks how to play the Troublemaker's game. No use being an explorer if you aren't a little dangerous. Well, tipped your ear long enough. I'll be smiling as you walk through Eternity's Gate. Give the next universe something to talk about, yeah? Really, Walter? There must be something. Do you Let's have get a second to opinion, friend? shall we? Walter and I were just discussing the expenses incurred during the attack. No, I was explaining that there's nothing to discuss. It's been taken care of. It seems that Walter has taken it upon himself to cover the costs of the repairs to both the Lodge and the Eye. As well as any expenses relating to the... to the funeral services. Sam was a good man. It's the least I could do. Well, it's not about looking for thanks. I just... It needed to be done, that's all. Well, I can't thank you enough, Ask Walter. if you've got questions. Sarah. Speak up if you have ideas. We're I all here we for the same reason. about money. I've thought about it, and... Suggest, but as much as I would love this is the to see the unity, the way Keeper Aquilus has experienced it... It has been. I'm... Not coming with you. An honor to do so. And when this is all over, we can go back to Thank squabbling you. about minor experiences. I know this is probably coming as a surprise. I think I need to look for my answers here. In this universe. And I can't leave my parents. I know they would understand, but... They're not getting any younger. There is one more thing I'd like to do for Sam. And I'd like to get your opinion. Nothing extravagant. Just a small plaque here in the lodge. Something to remember them by. Where do you think would be appropriate? I hadn't thought of that. Hmm. That's a nice idea. 
Any objections, Walter? No. I think this is a fine idea. Then it's settled. I'm glad we had this discussion. And now, perhaps we can try and move on. Yes. I think that's right. There's nothing like an investment paying off. We've succeeded beyond my wildest dreams. Everyone should feel proud. Oh, no. This moment isn't about my corporate holdings, no. Being part of Constellation was... just for me. Although there's always opportunities, I'm not above taking advantage of what we learn as a group. <laughs> Alas, while I would like to take the final jump with everyone, I'm afraid the saying, you can't take it all with you, has caught up to me. There might not be a Stroud Eklund in the next universe, and certainly not mine. And I would be a poor choice of company if I was, well, poor. Thank you for that. But I'd be lying to myself if I didn't admit it was a part of me. And I have no desire to find out who I am without it. Goodbye, my friend. If I could borrow a bit from Sebastian Banks, bring light into the darkness of the unknown. So this is it. This armillary can finally be assembled, and the Starborn assure that something will happen on the other side. Something that will make us like them. Funny. I thought after all this time I'd be screaming in excitement to jump into the unknown, but I feel like I'm hesitating. That's not what I mean, but I love you, too. Say we go to the Unity, become Starborn, enter another universe. Will there even be a constellation there? It won't be ours, even if it is. We both know that one of us is going to let Curiosity win out, eventually. It's who we are. But... I wouldn't mind pretending one universe is enough. For a little while, at least. I feel like I've been waiting my whole life for this. Constellation, the artifact. What did you want to If you want to talk, make it quick. I think I'm late for Noelle's science lesson. Don't worry about me, I'll be fine. Sorry, was doing the tally's work in my head. Inventory of the station.
Just give the word and we'll get underway. journey seems to be coming to a- Finally! These new universes won't know what hit them. Forget about the Starborn and the Hunter. It's Barrett and company from here on out. I suppose we can do that. Classic. Look, if this is it, are we doing this or not talk? Then stop right there. We're doing this. The multiverse waits for no one. You wouldn't be the first person to say that. Well, not the multiverse part, obviously. Although, from a chaos theory perspective, maybe. Come on. We didn't do all this not to take the final step. Now let's get going. Got a minute to chat? Maybe a few minutes. Probably not hours. Yes? Hello, Captain. You have my attention. A moment, Captain. It appears Constellation's current mission is at its end. It is customary to offer congratulatory statements. Thank you. If I were sentient, I am sure I would be feeling a great sense of pride and increased social connectivity to you. I hope the process of becoming Starborn is done without causing any physical trauma. But given the unknown physiological requirements of crossing universes, that seems unlikely. Given that the Starborn encounters have so far not included any robots, the safe assumption is that I will need to remain behind. If we do not see each other again, goodbye, Captain. From a statistical standpoint, you have been an unusually effective member of this team. Did you need something? So, the unity awaits. I'm not as afraid as I thought I would be. Stepping away from the world you know can lead to a better place. I do not know if I would say the same. More that I accept it. I'm ready. Do you think we will see each other after the unity? Will we even recognize each other if we do? I do too. But the emissary makes me doubtful. They are both the person we lost and someone else entirely if we do not see each other again then this is goodbye i am proud that i was present for this journey what's on your my
Retro's firing. Orbit stabilized. You made it. I hope you're enjoying the view. I never get tired of staring at it. Eternity. A thought occurs. Can anyone ever truly experience reality outside of oneself? All of time and space filters through a singular perspective. I am as much you as you are a part of everything. All points connect to here. When a star is born or dies, its existence beats through the heart of this place. The unity. I have seen all you are, have been, and could be. Do you feel like you've lived a good life? Is there anything you regret? That's good. You will need that clarity for what comes next. In order to become Starborn, you must give the universe one last thing. Yourself. That intangible part of you, that something that makes you unique amongst the infinite will explode like a supernova. A part of you will fuse with the essence of this universe, while another part leaves it behind forever. Do you understand what I mean? This one final leap will change this universe forever, even as you leave it behind. Unknowingly, you just answered your own questions. For who creates things but creators? That is what they have been named throughout the endless circle of time. Are they one or many? Human or alien? Terrestrial or celestial? One day, you might even meet the creators, but not this day. As for the why, so that you could ask that very question. So that you could stand before me for time immemorial and delve into the mysterious of the unending cosmos. Much like the death of a star creates new kinds of matter, so will the part of your being become fused with the unity itself. That part is what becomes Starborn and crosses into the multiverse. Through your eyes, it will be as if waking up from a dream. Walk into the gate of light and you will become Starborn. Everything will vanish and you will awaken somewhere else. But that isn't your only potential destiny. You could turn around, walk away from the unity until the stars fade away, and you will wake up on your own ship. In your universe, you could live out the life you have. I have enjoyed speaking to you once again. All of you. 
every version that is here in the Unity right now. Go out into the stars. As you consider stepping towards infinity, I offer you a glimpse into what will happen to the universe you may be leaving. As the essence of who you are is spread throughout space and time, sacrifice increase the resurrection of the Asili species leads to a massive reduction in terramorph attacks across the settled systems at the same time the need to spread the Asili's far and wide increases cooperation between all the factions Belief in the UC as the diplomatic leader of the settled systems grows. Thank mm -hmm. you. 